This is Spencer with The MacGuffin, and today I'm joined by some of the subjects and crew uh, behind The Last Mile, which is a documentary screening here at South by Southwest. I'm going to let you guys introduce yourself, because I know I'm going to butcher some names, and as somebody who has had his name butchered, I don't want to do that. So why don't you guys introduce yourself? Let's start with that. Yeah, my name is Chris Vino Kenyad Liao, and I'm a founding member of The Last Mile. Yeah, you would have had a hard time with that one. Mm -hmm. um, I'm Andy Timoner, the director of The Last Mile. And I'm Jed Weintraub, the head of production at Condé Nast Entertainment. We produced it with Andy. So this is, I mean, from someone coming from a tech background, actually, I, I really was enjoying this film. Um, how did this sort of come to your, uh, to your consciousness to make this film? And how did this, I mean, I guess from your perspective, how did getting into this program really affect you? Because obviously you went through it and you're just coming in after the fact. But how did this all come together, I guess, ultimately? Well, um, so I, I have a network called A Total Disruption, mm -hmm. totaldisruption.com, and I was, as a, for that, I document innovators and entrepreneurs that are driving the internet revolution that we're in the midst of, or using technology to transform our world in some special way, artists as well. So I go to conferences sometimes just to meet people that I think would be gr good to profile. And I was at Summit Series in Utah, sat down at a lunch, next to a man uh, and said, hey, and we, we, you know, we got to talking and I said, what brings you here? And he said, well, I just got out of prison. And I thought, well, this is, this is awesome. <laughs> I, show, story, I couldn't have yeah. chosen yeah. a better seat. This is going to be great. And it was Horatio Hartz, who is uh, definitely a brother in the program with Kenyatta, uh, who is a dear friend of mine at this point. Um, and uh, hearing the story of the last mile, it really combined so many things that I am interested in and very passionate about. Like I, I started my career making films in prisons um, about wow. women in prison. Yeah. And looking at the prison industrial complex uh, as one of the fastest growing industries in America, there's a, a, a terrible um, record of reform, lack of reform and recidivism rates are, you know, up to 70% in California. So that's people going through the system going right back into it. And talking to Horatio the other day, which our conversation posted on wired.com with the piece, um, I think Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, at the premiere. premiere. In, yeah. Um, I, uh, you know, Horatio describes his childhood and his neighborhood as, as incarceration in and of itself. So I think what happens with The Last Mile is these uh, gentlemen have an opportunity to address the social needs of where they came from that caused them to end up in San Quentin in the first place. So it's beyond even just their own rehabilitation. It's like Horatio's in Pittsburgh right now working with the city of Pittsburgh with his new startup, Healthy Hearts, to help them fix their city as we speak here at South by Southwest. So, you know, the amount of beautiful human resources that we are wasting inside prison yeah. walls. This program is, a, I mean, the film is a very emotional film. People were crying. But this program is, is a model for a way that we can actually address, you know, the problem of reform in prisons in our, in our country with technology. And they don't even have computers or the internet. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was the most interesting That's thing to hear, ironic. that like people would be posting tweets and whatnot for them from the outside. Yeah. That's pretty wild. And going through it, what is that, what is that like in terms of the, somebody bringing this concept to you as somebody who was in prison? Like, were you initially receptive to the idea or was it like, this is a very foreign concept to me, but you know what, I'll give it a try. No, I was interested right away. I mean, I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit. And um, when I was approached by Chris Redlitz about potentially starting a technology accelerator inside San Quentin, I was all in from the second that I heard about it. And, uh, you know, I've, like I said, I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit. I just used it in the wrong way. And what The Last Mile provides is a framework to take that entrepreneurial spirit, guide it in the right direction, uh, a support system that starts on the inside and carries over to the outside, and then real life opportunities when we're released. Um, I was fortunate enough to, um, to be offered an internship by a guy named Duncan Logan, who's the founder of Rocket Space. And um, I've been able to parlay that, um, that internship into a full-time management position and actually have hired two additional guys from the last wow. mile to come work at Rocket Space. So I'm living the dream right now. 
it's, I mean, it's a really, you're, you're right, it's a profound topic and something that is kind of swept under the rug. How difficult, I mean, yeah, maybe you can speak to this, Jeff, um, was it to sort of get this story out there? I mean, because it's something that, I don't know if you want to call it like the dirty little secret of America, like the prison system that we just, we don't want to think about. We don't want to think about the millions and millions of people that are in prison and whatnot. I, I mean, it was, it would have been difficult were it not for um, Wired's help with it, you know, their immediate support of my going and, and telling this story um, and Horatio's support of me and vouching for me as a filmmaker. And then, you know, obviously our track record with the total disruption is solid. We've hundreds of interviews with the top leaders in technology and innovation in Silicon Valley. So Chris and Beverly, who are very protective of how this program is portrayed, went ahead and looked through all of that and saw that everything that we're doing is really trying to look at innovation from the most human, most emotional and passionate standpoint so that it demystifies it. You know, and that's what exactly what we tried to do with this was to, to meet these men of the last mile as men, as humans, um, to really like get down to that. And that's what I think the film accomplishes. It's not really just a cold look at a program that works. It's a look at some incredible characters that you want to meet. You know, and that's what storytelling, that's probably the most important element. But, Jed, you come from such an incredible background of storytelling. Um, tell us what, I mean, I'd love to hear, I've not mm -hmm. even discussed it with you, what you think of the film. I mean, look, the film was an, an incredible opportunity for us, uh, for Condé Nast Entertainment. We program channels uh, across all of the Condé Nast magazine brands, in addition to On the Scene, which is our sort of premium video player where, where it appears. It was a great opportunity not only to tell a story that, hadn't really been told, but also to contextualize it within the editorial voice of, you know, Wired.com, who are very supportive of it, and then to be able to bring it, to premiere it here is, is like a real dream for us. This is our, our first major festival premiere, so the opportunity to work with filmmakers of Andy's caliber to really tell unique stories that have a filmmaker's voice and vision, which we know is something that really works online, is, you know, a, a key part of our vision for the, for the whole network. And what is it like for you in terms of the actual program? Because it is, in some ways, the most high concept version of entrepreneurial incubators because like you can't actually like so much of modern tech incubators are based around internet companies and you're not really allowed to even do that so what is it like actually trying to generate these ideas and come to concepts with technology with stuff in a lot of ways you can't even use like yeah that was definitely a challenge i mean so many of us you know were incarcerated way before the internet even you know started getting big. Um, now the internet is just like interwoven into every aspect of our lives. And so, you know, wrapping our head around these concepts of how we could leverage technology, how we could leverage social media when we came home. I mean, this was, it was a challenge, you know, but Chris and Beverly, they were really thoughtful in the way that they delivered the information to us. They brought people in who helped us, you know, get a better feel for, you know, what it was going to be like and what techno the use of technology is like today, you know? And, um, you know, it was through that process that we were able to, you know, not really fully grasp it, but get, you know, a couple of steps in the right direction in terms of understanding, you know, how to use it. One thing you, you see in the film is you see guest speakers come in, people like MC Hammer, you know, mm -hmm. Brian Solis, people that are, are really very deeply successful, involved out there in the world. And they're coming in and they're sharing their inspiration and and, and the members of The Last Mile are charged with reading those books, you know? And so it, I think it's just, you know, the way we colored the film, we colored it where San Quentin is in dark, very high contrast black and white, the exterior shots. As soon as you're in the program, it's full color, you know? Because it's infusing hope into your lives as soon as you're part of that program. And, and there's a zero tolerance policy, which Chris um, is very adamant about, where you can't be late, you can't have, be unprepared. You need to hit every date, every deadline, right? It, it's like a discipline or you're out. Yeah, there's, Chris is really, really adamant about, you know, making sure that we're prepared. I mean, every aspect of this program is really, you know, detailed, just like on the outline right now, for us to be successful, you know, and there's no room for any kind of, you know, slipping in any kind of way, you know, so um, we're all on our toes with the program and, you know, Chris and Beverly do a great job of keeping us on our toes. So. And I interviewed people in the Valley about what they think about bringing in last mile graduates. 
and what's the difference, what's the edge? And I asked Horatio the other day about that as well. He said, the thing is like, we just won't stop. We're just, we're just so appreciative of the opportunity to be involved. We'll work harder than anybody, you know, and we'll, we'll give it everything. And you just see that again and again and again, you know, what we take for granted every single day, they're not taking for granted and that's their edge. That's a huge edge to have. And about the social media stuff, there's Twitter day, there's Quora day, there's worksheets, they fill them out by hand and then they get feedback from the outside. And when I first started making docs in prisons, what I, my first film was called Voices from Inside Time because the voices of these people are stuck inside time. And when I would drive out those prison walls with the footage in my camera, I felt like I was freeing some part of their soul that I was, because I was telling their story and it was gonna be on television so that people could actually witness that. And that feeling was so cathartic. That's what made me just an, a doc addict from then on for what, the last 22 years. That was sealed the deal. So the film is The Last Mile. It's premiering here at South by Southwest. It premiered. Premiered. And it's, it's actually and just played again. And it plays, I believe, does it play one more time? It's on Wired.com yeah, it's, now. So it's, it's available to everyone now. You should have it embedded with this post. Yes, I can do that. Right easily. there. Okay. But it's available now. Yeah, it's for available everyone. now for okay. everyone to check watch. Check it out. Yeah. yeah. Go yeah. check it out. Seriously. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for all this. And I wish you the best of luck with everything you have going forward, too. Thank you so much for having us. Ever forward, what, is it, what do you say? Forward ever, backward never. Yeah. There you That's go. Perfect. Thank you. can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Like, don't even try to bite the sun. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels all right.